glad to see you again. Welcome to another Hapei Cordula Advanced Coding class. Today, we are going to take expert level challenge number 24. Can't wait to nail it down? Let's go. Now, first of all, let's read the challenge card together. This challenge is going to have two entrances and one exit. Now, have a look and see what blocks you need and I will see you right back. Here is our build. Please make sure that all the blocks are facing the correct direction and that the marble collector is matching with the exit of the final block. Now, according to the challenge card, there are two groups of marbles. One is red, the red launch from the natural block, and the other is blue, launched from the first secret block. The secret block on the third floor, let's call it secret block number two. And our challenge is to make the marbles roll out from the blue block and the sequence should be red, blue, red. Are you ready to try? Let's try together! First, let's try to find out secret block number one. Can the orange block work? Let's try. After we release the blue marble, it goes down to the turquoise and rolls out of the building. According to challenge card, we can see that below the secret block number one, the turquoise only has horizontal tunnel, which means the marble cannot pass from the upper side. So the secret block number one needs one upper entrance and one side exit. How about the yellow block? Let's try. It has one upper entrance and one exit at the side. Wow, this works! We can see the blue marble has two directions to go, right or left. Both way can make it go to the fourth level. Let's set the yellow block to the right direction first. The blue marble starts from the yellow block, rolls on the right side of the fifth level and down to the natural block, falling straight down to the secret block number two. Since the marble needs to exit from the blue block, we need to make sure that the secret block number two has an upper entrance and a left or bottom exit in order to let the marble roll into it and out from the secret block number two. Let's try the green block and test it together. Marbles can run to the right exit, however, the sequence is not right. Now that all the marbles can roll out from the bottom blue block successfully, let's challenge the most interesting part and make the marbles go red, blue, red sequence. Do you remember which block can change the marble sequence? Hmm, yes, that's the seesaw block. We have red and blue seesaw blocks. Let's try the red one first. We can see that the red seesaw does not meet our needs since the marble rolls out of the building when zero is positioned higher. So this one does not work. Now let's try the blue seesaw and check it out together. Always remember we need to set the zero and one positions right. Let's keep the position one up and zero down first. Uh oh, it's not right. How about we try the opposite? Set the position one down and zero up. 
And let's roll again. Yay, we did it! Now it works perfect. But I have a question. Do you think there is other solution that can work out the same sequence? Let's try to change the secret block number one, yellow block, to the left side. Keep the blue seesaw position zero up and one down and release the marbles. Uh-oh, that is not correct. How about change the seesaw position one up and zero down and release the marbles. Yay, it works this way too. So it turns out there are two possible correct answers. The first one is the secret block is yellow, right-sided, and the secret block number two is the blue seesaw with the one positioned up and zero positioned down. The second answer is secret block number one is yellow on the left side, secret block number two is the blue seesaw, zero positioned up and one positioned down. Good job everyone! Today's challenge was a little bit tricky and you made it! Now, after we achieved our target, let's analyze why the marbles could roll out as our order. Let's take half of the horizontal track as A and vertical drop of one block height as B. According to this logic, the distance the first red marble runs is 3A plus 5B. The blue marble runs 4A plus 5B. The second red marble runs 5A plus 5B. So we can see that 3A plus 5B is less than 4A plus 5B. Similarly, 4A plus 5B is less than 5A plus 5B. And as we all know, the shorter the journey is, the earlier the marble can reach the ending point. That is the exact reason why we achieved our goal. Through this lesson, we learned how to use the math calculation to sort out the journey each marble needs to pass. You can try to complete other challenges at home on your own. All right, in the next class, we will carry on our marble journey. And I'll see you next time, guys. Happy rolling! Bye-bye!